Hey guys, and welcome to episode 34 of my Block Mayhem SMP. And I'd like to share with you guys what I've been working on here. And I recorded a lot of the building of this thing. Um, like, updates and such with Super and Gonzo. And they were really funny, and I'm very sad that they were. Um, I had to delete them because the audio. I forgot to record the audio, and I'm very sad. But this is an iron trench, and this is the second part of um, the iron trench here um, with all the complicated redstone that I'm just going to show off in a bit. And in this video, I just want to explain um, what this does, what this does, because everybody is asking me, and I'm getting annoyed. So hopefully people watch my videos that are on the server and they will know um, why is the purpose of all this stuff so this thing is an iron golem farm I don't know if you guys remember but my last uh, on the last server I had an iron golem farm uh, two of them and they produced each one produced an iron golem every six minutes so technically it was an iron golem every three minutes and what this is is just another one of those but it is 32 all in one so it's gonna do the math it's like an angle of every 10 seconds I believe so it's a lot more a lot a lot more so this will feed the entire server so we don't even we don't have to fight for it and stuff and we'll be able to build out of iron blocks now let me go inside here and do a little explaining so this is just a stairway to get up to the redstone. These glass blocks just hold the iron golems um, from getting onto here. And there's villagers in there, which I will kill momentarily. Um, the lava blade just kills the iron golems and the drops just get carried. Um, but you need all of these doors um, to be for all the villages. So he's going to die. Cool. Um, because there's 32 villages, and think about it, you're going to need a lot of doors because I don't know if you remember how many doors you had to put in for a single iron golem farm dock M design, but it's s eight, 12 on each side, so it's a total of 48 doors in total. Um, so what what happens in, in here is um, you you see you can't have this constantly running like that um, because we see one village is stationary and it, when a single iron golem farm it's just one village and that's it you don't have to worry about anything else because that's nothing's gonna change about that since this iron golem farm there's 32 villages perfectly aligned in the center strip here right where I'm looking right here right where the sky is there's pistons that pull back these blocks to reveal the sky and the reason why they're pistonized is because we need to rebuild the village after something happens. So what this is right here is um, a hopper timer. And it runs about a minute or so. Um, and this is a, uh, like a empty, empty trench detector, I'm going to call it. But what happens is this pressure, these pressure plates will activate um, the redstone here every time a golem comes down and as long as this as long as golems are coming down this hopper timer is not going to run and it's not going to signal the note blocks here like that um, because there's golems falling down since this is a an empty trench detector or a no golem falling detector if no golems are falling down then this hopper timer is going to run which it will and as soon as this fills up or as soon as this empties um, it will trigger the, hey, it's time to reset this golem farm and rebuild it because something has happened, such as um, doors were broken, villagers have died, and, or everyone in the entire server has gone to the nether or the end all at once. Um, that's the only t Or the server restarts. That's the only time the spawn chunks will be unloaded. So if it does, then um, here's just a master reset. Um, it will go 
through this process here through timings and such and we'll go down this line and this will trigger these pistons right here to retract to allow light to go into the place to um, activate doors at a certain amount of time and every door represents a village well a set of doors represents a village so by activating one door at a time we're creating a village here and then we need to send the signal all the way out to somewhere else and then this village will be linked with that one and will create a large village like huge and then the piston will retract again and close off so then we'll have one village over here and then it's just going to keep going back and forth ping and ponging until we have 32 at the end of here which is when um, other magical things will happen uh, which will send the um, which will open up all the pistons and send the villages down the line here to string them perfectly across um, and in order to do this you need lots of sticky pistons and you also need villagers every so often and we do still need which um, I've requested but nobody has completed a villager here which uh, I'll probably just end up doing it myself um, we still need a villager in here and we need villagers in other places as well but this second village is key to it because if we just build the iron trench then it will run yeah sure it will run but it will uh it will just stop working after uh, the chunks get unloaded or something like that or everybody goes to the nether or the end at the same time and then we will be sad because we will have to break and replace every single door in that entire huge monstrosity so it's you know it's just crazy so that's why we really do need to automate this system um, using the second village over here to help with the rebuilding process and if you may ask the villager the iron golem trench and that's very bad we do not want that happening because that door is key um, the process of rebuilding takes 20 minutes so the iron golem farm stops producing it will detect it almost immediately and it will start the rebuilding process and as soon as 20 minutes is up then um, the iron golem farm will be producing again just like normal and stuff and if the iron golem farm when it's rebuilding um, if something else happens if we shut down the server a second time it's not gonna mess it up either because it's just gonna um, keep going through and trying to rebuild it and then it will fail rebuilding it because um, it was interrupted there will be no golems falling again and it'll send the signal to do it once more so, yep, that's how that works. Um, so, people are saying, when is this going to be done? Is it done yet? Is it done yet? Here's the answer. So, there's three stages to this iron golem farm. There's the villager, de I mean, the iron golem detector um, stage. That's that's part one. And then there's part two, which is over here. The villager, the, the iron golem farm, like, second village um, rebuilding and then there's all of the redstone up on the roof that's part three I just finished through the tutorial part one and two so all there's left to do is part three but here's the problem we're gonna probably need more repeaters um, that's all the redstone we have which is probably going to be enough um, but we still need to use up four droppers in the system he said we'll need to use so I'm not sure how much redstone we're gonna need or or anything like that but um, we're getting there and I'm, I'm hoping to get this done by the end of the weekend so today is Friday at 9.04, 9.04 Eastern Standard Time and uh, yeah so this, this thing looks pretty sick other people are saying it looks ugly I think it looks pretty sweet so um, I hope everybody um, benefited from this and um, hopefully no more questions uh, will be asked hopefully I answered them all um, so yeah we need exactly 22 villagers in this basket right here that's why some of you some of you were asking a lot um, 
can what is it okay if they escape is it okay if they run around and stuff um the talking about the babies uh yeah that's fine because they were oh you did i think we just saw it yep there's a baby in there at the moment um when the baby runs around it will fall through the the thing and um the iron bars and get burned into lava so we don't have to worry about any more villagers in there so that is all good and up on the roof the reason why they were breeding so much and we had so many villagers is because I put one up here and destroyed eight to make an infinite um, villager uh, breeder. So yeah, the last thing I need to do is all the redstone up here to activate the timings of the comparators and the pistons opening up and such. So that's all is left to do. Um, so yeah, spawn is looking great. Finish that house, buddy. Um, yeah, there's my shop, and I guess I'll, I'll show you the shop in another episode. This is just a quick episode to, uh, explain the, uh, answer the questions of the Iron Golems. Um, this, these two overhangs are not just for looks. They are actually the spawning layers of the Iron Golems. So, Iron Golems will spawn on this layer, and that wire, that's, that's the pur purpose of the overhangs, because other people ask that as well. So, there will be water pushing them all into here. The iron bars are very necessary because what can happen, which which can happen, if two iron golems spawn at the same time there and there, come to the center, they will not fall down. They will jam up the system, and no more iron golems will fall, uh, will spawn and fall down. That's why we need these iron bars because eventually they'll just push each other away because it's not a two block gap; it's a three block gap with the iron bars. So that's another question. Um. I need to find one gold to repair the goggles because I accidentally put them on. Um, and people are saying, what can they do to help? Okay, if you want to help, I need um, stone bricks. I'd probably need about two more stacks of stone bricks. Um, I'm need. I'm going to need people to perform a certain task for me, which I'm going to show you what that task is right now. Um, this is the task, guys. And I know Gonzo has done it many times. This is what I need you to do. If you really want to help, you get doors in your inventory, right? And you come into here. And you run down. And if you see a door missing, you replace it. That's what I need people to do. Because zombies keep getting in here somehow. I, I lit it up the best I can, but ever so often a zombie will get in here. I'm not really sure how... And, uh, oh, like I hear one now, I think. A baby. And, um, just replace the doors, guys. That's, that's all. So, I'd like to thank, um, everyone on Black Mayhem for helping me out. Even if you haven't worked on this thing, uh, like yourself, you have helped out with your donations <laughs> that, uh, uh, me and a couple of the server members, Gonzo, have gathered from your chests. Thank you very much <laughs> for your kind donations. Um, just basic redstone, iron to make the pistons. Don't worry about it. It will all be repaid by this. Don't worry, guys. Um, so just so you know, the, the rates for this, every two hours, um, we'll fill a full double chest of iron. Okay, the server runs 24-7. So think about that, guys. That's 12 double chests of iron a day. So we don't even have 12 members on the server, so everybody gets over a double chest of iron a day. So yeah, I, nobody's gonna be fighting for the iron with this, with this farm. So nobody worry about that. So I think that answers everything. If there's questions I didn't answer, please put them in the comments, and I'll make another video as soon as I get comments enough comments. I'll do it. If it's this afternoon, I'll or later tonight, I'll do it. No problem. So I'm gonna go upload this for people. And then work on this some more with hopefully Gonzo and other people. So thank you all for watching and I'll catch you next time.